Hey everyone, this is Captain Mark Henderson with Taco Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. We're here today with Donna Milo, owner of Reef Runner Boats, going to talk a little bit about the Battle Breast Cancer Boat that is going to be raffled off at the 2019 Miami International Boat Show. All of the proceeds are going to go to the Susan G. Coben Foundation. We're going to show you how to install some rub rail and some nav lights, so hang on, we're going to have some fun. Talk to us a little bit about the boat and the importance of it and what's happened with Reef Runner and why it's uh, so important for you to uh, be part of this project. To me, uh, Reef Runner Boats is a relatively new venture, but it's a very rewarding venture. We've been fortunate enough uh, to produce a great product. Uh, it's been well received in the marketplace and I believe in giving back. And one of the ways we can do that is to help people who are less fortunate and breast cancer touches so many people uh, in their daily lives that we thought that if we could uh, put a product out there that we could help uh, raise awareness and raise funds to fight the disease, we thought it would be great to do that. And this 18-footer is a boat that I designed myself. It's, a, it's an 18-foot bay boat. It's designed for efficiency. It's designed for smooth, quiet ride and it's been uh, very well received and I'm excited to be able to do this, uh, to offer it, uh, raise funds and to put some really nice things and we appreciate you guys coming out and helping us with the process. For this particular application for our rigid vinyl rail, we're going to be utilizing some basic tools. You're gonna need your standard drill, battery operated spine, your standard screw gun or impact screw gun battery operated spine, uh, standard drill bits, we're going to be drilling into fiberglass, tape measure, and it helps to have a chop saw so that any of your cuts that you're going to make will be clean and precise. In this particular application, we're going to find the center of our starting rub rail, and we're going to start at the center of the bow of the boat. And we're going to work the rail in both directions until we get to where all of the rails lay in flat against the, the gunnels of the boat, and then we're going to start a secondary piece from that location back around till we get to the end of the boat. Very basic. We hope we make it easy for you. And again, we thank Taco for their help with this particular project. So it's really neat to see what's happening with the teamwork here at Reef Runner Boats. They have marked the center point at the start of the rub rail. This profile has allowed them to wrap it around anchor it on either side so that they don't have to fight it and have extra people holding up rub rail. The 8 inch centers where it's pre-drilled is a really, really nice option that Taco has put into this rub rail profile. And so as they go around, they are actually anchoring two, three points on the rub rail and then coming to the other side to do it. So it's going to be symmetrical all the way around. It's going to keep a nice tight profile. They're holding it up to the edge of the boat. It's going to be really good looking on this boat. Let's see what happens. So one other nice touch that you want to make sure you do is take a little bit of silicone on each one of the screws. It just makes a really clean, nice job and it's good for the customer. There are a lot of taco rub rail profiles. They chose this one because it's a pretty nice little lip right here that butts right up against this really clean edge that Reef Runner did on the gunnel of their boat. Real easy installation. One of the common problems when bending uh, rub rail around the corners, particularly with the rigid vinyl rails, the tighter the corner, the tighter the radius, the more it deforms here when you heat it. So one of the things we've come up with is to take a piece of the rail insert, slide it in, heat the corner, and then pull the insert into the corner so that as you radius the corner, it does not deform the, uh, the rails. So we're going to try to demonstrate it for you here in just a bit. We'll, we'll leave the insert in here for a few minutes and allow the, allow the plastic to cool. 
because uh, otherwise this would collapse when we pull it out because it's still warm. Depending upon which insert you're using for the rub rail, it could be tricky to install because sometimes they're very stiff. The, the more rigid they are, the better they protect your boat, but it could be tricky to install and hard to push in. It'll make your thumbs tired. So I've developed a little system, whereas I made just a little pipe with a hard plastic roller and you can set the bottom in position. Set the bottom in position and then work the top in with your roller and just help ease it in and then you just push it the rest of the way in using the old method of your thumb and that seems to be able to save save your thumbs and as long as you're using plastic it, even if it marks up the rail a little it'll clean right up so that's just kind of a, a little trick to use to get the uh, rigid insert in That's a wrap everyone. This is a great project battle breast cancer boat with Donna Milo and Reef Runner Boats. This boat is going to be raffled off at the 2019 Miami International Boat Show. All of the proceeds are going to go to support the Susan G. Coben Foundation. Taco Marine is so proud and happy to be part of this with Donna, her staff, and her great company. Do yourself a favor. Go get your tickets online at ReefRunnerBoats.com. Visit us at tacomarine.com, and until next time, this is Captain Mark Henderson of Taco Marine, the liquid fire fishing team, and Donna Milo. Thank you so much, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time, everyone.